Here's how to write a quick Hello World app for Mac OS and Xcode using Apple Script Objective C Bridge. Let's start with creating a new project in Xcode. We will be creating an Apple Script application. Once the project is created, we will edit the main menu.xib Xcode interface builder file. When you click on the file, you will see the canvas with some icons in the middle. Click on the window and you will see the main window for the application. On the bottom right, search for the push button and S button element and drag that into your application window. Next, Search for the text field element and drag that into the window too. You can now arrange the elements where you wish. Interface Builder will help you with the blue guidelines. Now that you have created the interface, click on the app delegate Apple Script file, where you will create two corresponding entries for the user interface elements. The first one is a property for the text field earlier, which you will put in a missing value for now. Be sure to put this after the window property declaration. Once you have done that, let's work on the second part. The second one is an outlet for the button which is a function, also known as an outlet in Objective-C, that will receive the action from the NS button in the application window. By following a specific convention, for example, with sender as the function variable, Xcode will help you create the connections easier later. Be sure to save your project right now, in preparation for the next step. Go back to the main menu.xib file. Control click and drag a line now from the delegate icon to the NS text field. You will see an outlet pop up, where you can select the property you created earlier. Next, control click a connection from the NS button to the delegate icon, and again from the pop up select the function you created earlier. This is how you link actions to outlets between your app delegate Apple Script and your user interface. You can verify your connections on the right pen on the Connections Inspector. We will finally write some code. Go back to the app delegate Apple Script where we created the outlet for the NS button. We need to first get the string value for the text field. This type coercion is very important and common when dealing with a type safe language. In a future video, I will go into more detail on this, especially for experienced Apple scripters starting on Objective C. We will finally create an alert displaying the string value of the text field in an application alert dialog. Finally, the moment of truth. Will this compile and run properly? Click on the build and run button and we will find out. 